Hey everyone, today we're gonna to show you how to easily add a Gmail signature to your Gmail account. We'll show you how to add your logo or a picture in there, as well as a custom link to a website. It's super easy, so check it out. Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Viking Everyday. My name is Ken, and if you're new here, this channel is all about reviews and how to's, so make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Today we're gonna be showing you how to easily add Gmail signatures to your Gmail account. We'll show you how to add a logo in there. Maybe you want a cute picture of yourself added. We'll show you how to do that, as well as how to add a website link in your signature. Again, it's super easy, so let's get right into it and head on over to my desktop. All right, so I've got my Google Chrome browser loaded up here and I'm logged into Gmail. I'm assuming you know how to do that since you're trying to change the signature. And the first thing to do to change that signature in the top right hand corner, you are gonna see this little gear or sprocket. And you're gonna go ahead and select that. It says settings, just left click on that. And another menu is gonna pop up. And right in the middle, you're gonna see another option that says settings. So go ahead and left click on that. And this is gonna bring up a full new menu system for Gmail. So there's a whole bunch of tabs here at the top, labels, inbox accounts and import but we're wanting the tab here the first one that says general and this is where you are going to find that signature area within gmail so go ahead and scroll down right almost to the very bottom and you're going to see an option here that says signature and right now i have no signature selected if you want to turn on that signature you can go ahead and put click right in this circle here and it'll move that little black dot down and right in here, we can start typing our signature. Now, before we start doing that, there is an option right here at the bottom that I do like to select. When I select that, when you reply to emails, your signature is gonna stay with the text that you're typing rather than putting it down at the very bottom of your email. Now, I do like to have that selected. You can go ahead and play with that to see which option you like, but I do like to have that selected. So let's go ahead and create a signature. So I'm gonna start typing here, um, Ken M. We'll do this for my Northern Viking Explorer account. Northern Viking Explorer. So this is a text editor. So we can go ahead and change that text. Maybe we want our text to be Comic Sans. Everybody loves Comic Sans. And we want it to be large in size. So you can change the size. You can change the, the um, font. You can make it bold if you like. Just highlight what you want to be bold. You can do italics, you can underline, and you can also change the color. So maybe I want this Northern Viking Explorer part to be blue. I can just click here and change it to blue. And now that will be blue as well. So you can, you can play around with your text that you want in there. That is super simple. All right, so from there, maybe we wanna add a link to our website. So I've got my website open here on another tab, northernvikingexplorer.com, and I'm gonna just copy that website URL, so I'm gonna just right click, copy, and copy that, or you could do Control C, and we're just gonna go back here. Now there's this little chain or link button here, and if you go ahead and click on that, it says link, and it says edit link. So we're gonna to want to add a web address. So right here in this bottom box, I can just go ahead and paste, right click, paste, or Control V, and it's gonna put that link right in there. Now, this top part here says text to display. So you can actually have your link there and then have um, some different text here at the top. So maybe I wanna put, um, click here to go to my website. And now, once we have what we wanna say there, we can just hit okay. And you can see it added a link right in my um, signature. So that's super easy to do. I'll show you how that works here in a moment. And then to add our logo or our picture, it's the same process for that. The next button here along, you are gonna see insert image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna bring up a new window. So right now in my Google Drive attached to this, I don't have any photos right now. Um, so we wanna upload a photo to add to this. So there is a button here right in the middle that says upload and it says drag a file here. So I've got a couple pictures on my desktop. I've got my logo as well as a picture of myself. So I'm gonna just drag my logo in there and it's gonna start uploading that logo for me. And whoa, this is where most people freak out. 
You can see that the logo basically took up the whole page. It's black down here in the corner. No problem, easy to fix. Just click on a portion of that logo and you're gonna see a little pop-up menu that shows up and it says small, medium, large, original size or remove. And right now it's on an original size so my logo's absolutely massive. I'm just gonna select small and all of a sudden it pops my logo down in perfect size for my signature. Now, if I did wanna add a picture of myself, I could go ahead and, and insert an image again. I'm gonna hit upload and I'm gonna drag that image right in there. And it's gonna start uploading that image. And again, the same thing is gonna happen. I've got this absolutely massive image. I'm just gonna click on it, hit small, and it put that image right beside it. Now, of course I don't want my image and my, my logo side by side like that. It looks kind of weird. I can just click, you can see the blue um, cursor line there. I'm just gonna hit delete and it'll delete that. So you can add and remove pictures very easily to your signature. So now I've got my signature all ready. I'm just gonna scroll to the very, very bottom. This is an important step. Otherwise you'll have to do it all over again. There is a save changes button here. So go ahead and click on save changes it says saving and it'll bring you right back out to your email area. So I'm gonna go ahead and compose an email here. And you can see when I start to compose it, that signature is automatically there. And I just wanted to show you that the link is working properly. So um, when I go over that area, now if you receive this email, you could just go ahead and click on that. But in this case, I have to right click on it and open in a new tab. And it's gonna open up that link up there at the top and you can see it went right to my website so that link is working properly and you are all done it is that simple to create a signature in gmail with custom logos or pictures as well as links to different websites so i hope this video was able to help you out in making that perfect custom signature with logos and websites if it did make sure to give it a thumbs up also remember to subscribe to Northern Viking Every Day because I've got tons of videos coming up that I'd love to share with you. Also remember to connect with me on social media. All the links are below in the description. Thanks for watching and take care.